Okay, I'm just going to give you one argument for God's existence. It's called the Kalam Cosmological Argument, which is just some fancy words for here's some evidence for God. It starts with an obvious truth that hopefully we can all agree on. The universe exists. If you don't agree with that, I can't help you, but let's assume you do. If the universe exists, we have two options. Either it had a beginning, or it had no beginning. Well, there's really good evidence that the universe had a beginning. Big Bang cosmology, the second law of thermodynamics, philosophically, it's impossible to have an infinite regress. So there's really good reason that the universe had a beginning. Now, if the universe had a beginning, we have another dilemma. Either the beginning of the universe was uncaused or caused. We can assume that things don't pop into existence out of nothing. Everything that has a beginning seems to need a cause, right? So if there is a beginning to the universe, it had to have been caused. Okay, now if we have a cause to the beginning of the universe, then the question is, what's a candidate for the cause? Well, things are caused in one of two ways. Either events cause other events, like the beginning of the universe, or people cause things. So I can cause my arm to go up. I caused that. But an event can't be the cause of the beginning of the universe because then that would just be the first event that would need a cause. So the only other candidate would be a person, but it couldn't be any person. It would have to be a person who's powerful, timeless, spaceless, non-physical, and really intelligent to bring the universe into existence. And that is the powerful evidence for God's existence. Okay, you may be asking, if everything needs a cause, then who caused God? Well, this is a common question, who caused God? God needs a cause because everything has a cause, right? Wrong. We're not saying everything needs a cause. Whatever begins to exist needs a cause. God didn't begin to exist. If at the beginning of the universe you have time, space, and matter coming into existence, you need a cause that literally transcends the universe. It has to be timeless, spaceless, and immaterial or non-physical, right? So it has to be what we call an uncaused cause. When we ask, who caused God? Well, God is, by definition, the uncaused cause. He's an unmakeable thing, so it's like asking, who made that unmakeable thing? <laughs> Nobody. The point is, we have an uncaused cause. God, who brought everything else into existence. He literally transcends the universe. Still confused? Still doubtful? We totally understand. Be sure to check back to get your questions answered on the existence of God and His truth on Time Out.